and one pike. Interesting on the attack there. On the defence, you've got a very <laughs> big amount of muskets. Look at the amount of muskets on the NE side. They're going to try and stop as much as possible getting any of these siege towers up. That is definitely going to be a plan here. As you can see, muskets you've got set up here. You've got some IPGs. You've got pike militia. Lanch next, you got some Iron Reapers there. Iron Reapers are devastating just now as well. Very, very well used class or unit if you can use them well. You've got IPGs, Fort Brasho, Modal, and yeah, lots of pike on the on the attack side. Gonna be interesting to attack this one, but definitely. I hope New Blood brings something. I'm going with holy good luck. Remember guys, you still got time to get the predictions in as well. We've got a little bit of time left for predictions, so please do get your predictions in. We've got six minutes left in the poll. Let's get it underway. We'll get a good view here and hopefully we can see what's going on. As this map slowly loads in, you've got You're going for Nutella. I like Nutella. I do love Nutella on my waffles. Don't tell him that though. Don't tell him that. My computer is definitely not liking this view here at the side. So this, oh, this is always what happens. I don't understand why it does it, but we'll do that. We'll get up in the air and we'll have a nosy. Here we go, let's scan around. Jump this off the screen for now. Here we go. Obviously, as you can see, people are using trebs to take out artillery. Very interesting. You could probably do that with the, the cannons that are out there. There's plenty of it. But there goes one dev already. Apache has killed Lone Swordsman. I wonder if that was a ballista. I wonder if that was a ballista. There's one hero down though, and they're obviously limited to their deaths. But they were planning on getting their ballistas out of the way so they can't be taken out with a ballista shot, which is a very clever, very clever idea in terms of a uh, the, the attack side there because we know with the multiple uh, the chances of you using any artillery that can take you out people are pretty accurate with them with them ballistas that's for sure bubble gum just just well boggle gum just uh just interestingly people up on the wall just to try and distract players well siege towers get pushed obviously like we say there's no artillery so the chances are the siege towers will make it because there isn't going to be any added artillery. There is no... Oh, Nutella Waffles is dead. Bogglegum caught Nutella Waffles and he is dead. I have no idea. Did he did he jump up, grab him and take him down? I don't know what happened there, but that was a very interesting strategy there. As the siege towers are pushed with no artillery to take them down, the only thing left back there are the Hawatches. And as you can see, we've still got a couple of heroes left. A couple of heroes that are obviously dead and have died. But nothing major at this point in time. As the siege towers will be minted. One actually falls. Whoa, that is not bad. All the muskets focusing that. Far left siege tower has reached. But all of the right hand side has been pushed. Everybody is going up there. All the heroes making their way up to top. As you can see, holy crusaders. Completely abandoning a just left a set of our territory on there and they're going to jump out and get back and secure where they need to be. All the malls and pole axes are going to grab and kill all these easy kills at our territory. Go up and get the supply point on the right hand side here. And uh, yeah, now it's just to kind of rearrange yourself quickly enough. If the heroes go quickly enough, they can probably push forward enough to do something good here. Yo, oh, Gregor X, how you doing? So the supply point is being taken. Jex is grabbing that just now. Gate is being opened as well. So there's the other access point being opened. And now it's all setting up here. Holy Crusaders setting up their defense. They've got the supply point here. They've got units of our Iron Reapers down here. And lots of calf setting about. Just a lot of calf. A lot of any East guys do love their calf. Not going to lie. They do love the calf. As you can see, Jex on the walls now trying to make a position on the wall. There's a couple of ways they can go here. They're sending some bombs over. Senji's trying to drop some bombs on the uh, the calf that is down below. But to no avail, really. Header's called in the treb. Where is the treb being hit? 
trying to aim at that supply point there, just getting over, killing some units there, killing some units over the supply point. Some of them Iron Reapers taking a hit and Jekt are forcing all the way along the top of the wall here. We're going to come and view from behind here. We'll zoom in, we'll slow it down a little bit so we can actually see the push on this wall here. Lots of rotations, you've got two sets pushed up both sides of the wall here. You've got a five man on the left here and the majority of the guys on the, the center wall. So they're going to try and to rotate people off of this as much as possible, try and grab lots of malls being used to be taking players away to their death. As Jekt push in from down the left-hand side staircase, the staircase in the center has also been pushed at the same time. So they're going down both, way, both ways simultaneously, trying to take as many people out of the game as possible. The main battle focus here is down here, as you can see, Couple of people dying here. Jack on a bit on rotten with units here already. But they're definitely pushing. Jack Dorton is pushing really hard. All these musket players aren't going to be able to do much apart from slow people down with the musket bombs. But they're going to get pinched on this supply point here. They're setting off. They've even got units set and stopped over at sea there so they can't be flanked as Jack pushed their way forward. Getting lots of kills here on the heroes as it is Nutella Waffles. Lots of four heroes down at the moment in time. We're down to 11 on the defense, 14 on the attack. They can't commit too many more heroes here. If any more heroes die, it's going to be a straight push. We're down to nine on the defense. Inject are just full force in it. They're going straight away as quickly as they can, trying to get all these units that are on the move. Some mode out. They're getting taken out straight away. All these malls are firing right in about that full set of mode outs. They're not even thinking about B point here. They're going straight to C, cap and C as it is. And enforcing our way through the gap. C is a free take. Well, all of Holy Crusaders are on the defense. They're all on the backtrack. They've got to get back. They're going to get B and C here for free. As Holy Crusaders have to set up for home. Down to 14. They're all alive now. They're starting to get back. Should have focused one tower. Should have. They should have. They did take one tower down, but... Should have then focused on the defense here. But Bobby Dixon is down as well. As you can see, unit-wise... Quite a good amount of units here on the attack still alive. 317 dead on the defense. And now they're all getting re-mustered up. Units back up and uh, healed back up at the supply point while they get ready to push for the final point. With no artillery here, the final point is going to be interesting to see how this is done. We've got Senjis. You've got Fort Brasio Palace Guards. You've got some Flamers in the back here and lots of Iron Reapers in the back here for the defense, as you can see. Lots of Cavs, some Javelins. Imperial Javs trying to take out units on that supply point here. But they're pulling away. Ice Eagle and his guys are just pulling away from that so that they don't get caught out too quickly. Now, heroes are just checking out, see what's around there, keeping the units out, out of sight, out of mind, away from any units that may be able to take some damage. Using a lot of muskets, as you can see, musket bombs getting put down. Lots of cow drops. And you've got some Jav Cav coming around to take some damage out here. We're going to get a little bit of a higher view here just as now, just to see where they're all coming in from here. They're all setting up for the center push here. Big cluster in the center with some units on the far left hand side here. As you can see, it's going to be a, a main center focus push here. They're going to get all set up ready and then potentially come around the back with the rest of the camp. Cav. Ayoki's kind of baiting them going the wrong way. The Treb hits a nice cluster of units there. That's the Iron Reapers taken and the units that are retreating as well. What a nice Treb that was. I'm afraid whoever's units were retreating back there, that was a bit of a nightmare. But there's the full push now. The full push comes in. As you can see, they're starting to get onto the cap as Holy Crusaders try to pull push it off and get in. Are they going to come in from behind? Ayoki has opportunity here with his cavalry, but there is monastics coming in from the push. Holy Crusader is going to do some cav charges straight across the point. Sorry, my voice might actually go at this game. We've got some good pushes coming in here, but IPG is coming in. There's another cav charge coming in from the back from Jekt. We are down to 13 defenders, but only 12 on the attack. It depends on how strong the push is. The, the pre-treb comes in as well, wipes off the units that are defending on the point. I don't think the push is finished, is there for Jekt, as we, as we see it on the other side here. We have got a good push off here from Holy Crusaders. That's a very good job. The first round, that is one. 
time they've held off. They've held off for this one time. As we see units here and people re-establish their unit base here. We have got Palace Guards, we've got some Fortabrasio, Medal, Iron Reapers. We've got Cataphrac Lancers. Lots of Cataphracs getting used. Ooh, three sets of Cataphrac Lancers getting used. Holy Crusaders getting a bit brave and ballsy here. They're pushing their stuff out a little bit. Trying to pick off some hero kills here. We still have eight Trebs left and uh, Jack Doctor is having to set up here on the right hand side. Lots of lots of heroes uh, moving around in the Holy Crusaders back way. Fatal's just using his uh, muskets and uh, using the bombs and caltrops just to slow any push here. Pushing out from the units. Treb's going to be put in place here. Will Holy Crusaders be able to move their units off the point? It does look like they are going to move, but the Pike Militia have just been moved in its spot there. Jack now make a move forward. The Treb hits the Pike Militia. Just a wee bit of this Pike Militia there. Now, now comes the full push here. Jack Doctorus, we're going to get a little bit lower here. We're going to get involved in this fight here a second, just where we can see the whole screen here. More Trebs being used. This is the Trebs getting set up pre-move of a uh, Holy Crusaders. Are they all going to be set up in position? There they are. Couple of units being hit there. That's a couple of 20 to 30 units maybe hit there from that, uh, that Treb. 15 heroes still alive on both sides though, but we are forced up here. Asianism's pushing on the back with Cataphrax Lancers, but is wiped out of the battle quite quickly there with the amount of players there from Jack Doctors. Now that they're clustered all up in the centre here, we're going to get a big push, push in here. Holy Crusaders having to keep rotating their units and moving away from these potential Trebs. But GX are just waiting and biding their time. Five more Trebs to be used. 627 units left on the defence. Still got 800 on the attack for Jack Doctors. They're just waiting here. They're just waiting, holding out. There is no ranged units really here dealing any damage. It's all IPGs, it's Modals, it's Iron Reapers. We have got some muskets in the back, one set of Senjis in the back here. And here we go. There goes the push from Jack Doctors now. Now they are getting full set up here. We're zooming right in here. We're going to see all the fight. Pikes trying to jump in and out of the battle here. Attila, Nutella waffles back and forward, but we're getting lots of deaths there. Nutella and Attila both die once right next to each other. Holy Crusaders down to 12 in the defence, 15 on the attack, Jack still pushing forward, 490, another Treb, but dead in the centre, a lot of units there being wiped out from both sides. Jack Dottis has got the push here, they're pushing very well, taking a little bit of the cap and pushing past the point, that is crucial here, if they push past the point here, they get this point, because there's only one way in here from Holy Crusaders, they're down to 7 heroes in the attack, in the defence, sorry. My voice is going, and it looks like Holy Crusaders are going to lose this one. They're forcing their way up, but the respawns are coming in. Gunbray jumps in. Attila jumps back in as well, trying to stop the point, but that is it. Quad kill there just at the end from Ice Eagle. Header finishes with the MVP on the attacking sides there. Jack Doltras with the win. Two hero kills, 105 unit kills from Header. 13 assists. Very well done. Header. What? That's a better uh, better showing from you than you falling off of the wall and being ganked by five people. Well done. Very good job. Uh, you need to get some of them clips posted and give it to uh, Coffee so that could be in his video for the next time round just to just to make up for your jump off the wall last time. We good good uh, score there. We have got four S ranks. Ice Eagle with four kills. Also good as them all with four kills. Jack doing a great job in the the assists here. Fifteen assists, eighty unit kills. And uh, did a good amount of work there in terms of uh, the attack. Defence side of things, a little bit rougher there. A lot less hero kills um, on the side of Holy Crusaders. That definitely makes a massive difference, as you can see on the post-match analysis. that has changed slightly from the update from last time round. You can see here, obviously it was 15 aside. Battle strength was roughly the same, maybe, maybe a wee bit difference there. But heroes killed is where it is a massive difference, especially on the CBL side of things. You have 28 kills on the side of Jack Ultras versus only 8 kills on Holy Crusaders. Unit kills is almost 300 difference as well. It is over 300 difference actually. We have 300 difference here. Units makes a difference, but the hero kills on the CBL is a massive difference. The, the bands were Keshex and Falconetti Gunners. Um, so yeah, that is it.
that's how all end, play, end of play happens there, as you can see. Good first battle there from Jekt Ultras. We will be moving on to see the other way around now. Jekt Ultras will be the other way around. It will be Holy Crusaders on the attack. Same map, same strategy, same similar ideas. No unit, uh, no units of Falconettes. No units of. Uh, I can't even shout. I need to 